Hello everyone, my name is Mario Pastorelli and I'm a software engineer in the financial integration team here at Definity. And today I'm going to talk about the feature Ledger for DApps. The Internet computer has its own token, the ICP. The ICP is backed by the Ledger canister and an application that connects to the Ledger canister and exposes the Rosetta API. In an effort to support our community, Definity has decided to improve the Ledger to allow anybody to deploy their own token to the internet computer. Before we talk about that, let's talk about what are the characteristics of the ICP Ledger. The ICP Ledger is part of the NNS. It is controlled by a root canister, which has the rights to upgrade the Ledger, and it is connected to the governance. The governance can mint new ICPs. Another feature of the ICP Ledger is that the ICP Ledger is scalable. As you know, blockchains are an ever-growing list of blocks. Eventually, they fill all the space in the canister, and they need to be moved to another canister. The Ledger automatically creates what are called archive nodes, where it will archive all their blocks. A final feature of the ICP Ledger is the support of Coinbase Rosetta API through what is called a Rosetta node. The Rosetta node is an application that connects and synchronizes with the Ledger canister and serves a more powerful API. So what is Ledger for DApps? We took the ICP Ledger with uh, support for archives and support for Rosetta API, and we made it available for everybody. You can set your token name and the symbol. You can set the transfer fee. You can set which is controlling the canister. And also, you can set the account that can mint new tokens. All right, let's see how you can deploy your own token. In this example, I'm going to deploy a token to my local replica. The same commands can be used on mainnet or a testnet. So the first thing to do is to download the ledger image and the public and the private interfaces of the ledger. Then you need to create a DFX JSON Containing pointing to the ledger canister was file and the private interface. After doing that, we can finally deploy our own token. And this is the command you need to run. So dfx deploy. In the dfx.json file, I called it custom ledger, and then you need to pass the arguments. So among the arguments, you can see the token name and symbol. Those uh, you can set them to the name and symbol of your custom token. Then you need to set the minting account. In For this example, I'm going to use uh, uh, my own account. So I'm going to mint uh, manually some tokens. But the minting account in production is probably going to be connected. It's probably going to be the account uh, of your DAO. Again, for ICP, the minting account uh, is a canister of the NNS. Finally, we have the archive options. Archive options uh, control how archive nodes are created. You have the trigger threshold, so after how many blocks uh, a new archive node is created. The num blocks to archive, how many blocks will be put in the new archive node. And then two very important options are the controller ID, which is the principle that controls the archive nodes, and how many cycles will be moved from the ledger canister to the archive nodes. So I'm going to execute the command, and it's going to create the, cust the ledger on my lo local replica. All right. Now, first of all, let's see if the deployment uh, worked properly. We're going to ask the symbol to the ledger. And this gives us back the symbol we just set. Then I can ask for the account balance of my default account. And I will get back zero. I don't have any token at the moment, but we can mint some. So in order to do that, I'm going to issue a transfer command. And I'm going to pass my own account. The amount is going to be one, is one token. And the fee is going to be set to zero because minting don't have any fee. 
So now I'm going to press enter. And because I am the minter, I can mint those tokens. I get back from the ledger, okay, with the block eight. In this case, it's zero because it's the first block. After that, I ask again for the balance. And yeah, the token is there. All right, that was a look at the feature Ledger for DApps. More information can be found on the official documentation on smartcontracts.org.